I'm live. Let's go. Let us, let us go, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, let me just set up a file name real quick. Uh, we'll just go for the old oh, SS4C5. And then we'll do high GL as well, because I can do both in this game. File names are very long. Done. Cool. Okay, timing starts as soon as I select this character, so I'll give you a countdown. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so time split is one. It's uh, it's a tad different to time split is two, as you'll probably notice straight off the bat. It seems a lot less like a game and a lot more like a tech demo. Um, regardless of this. Uh, a lot of people that speedrun both consider this to be the superior speedrun, if not for one major flaw, which you're noticing right now, that is, the loading times take forever. I'm not even kidding, uh, one loading, one loading screen is upwards of 50 seconds, so, also, my camera's inverted, but I'm just gonna have to go like this. Hold on, I can fix this. There we go all part of the plan. So yeah, the, uh, the the way for optimally moving in this game is to strafe, which means to move both up and left or right at the same time, rather than just in one direction. Uh, and the optimal way of doing that uh, is to use a, a different control preset setting to the one that I use where essentially you use both sticks for movement, uh, one one stick to move up and one stick to move left or right. Um, but I didn't have time to learn that uh, before this run, so I'm, I'm just doing it as I would normally do. Or as a, uh, a casual player of this game would normally do. I have to be really careful because you unlock cheats after every, uh, after every mission you beat. Um, and the fastest way to get through that is to just spam X, but if you spam X too many times uh, You'll just go back to the level that you did before uh, so It's uh, it's kind of dangerous in that regard. You have to be careful how many times you're spamming X. So I'll probably play it safe Yeah, TB for sure the ILs in this game are the best the the actual speed tech in this game in my opinion is the best and if not for the the year-long loads in between each level it would by far be my favorite game to run I'm gonna grab this health just to be safe it's slow but I kind of don't want to die and never mind I'm probably dead Oh, yep. <laughs> I got stuck there. That happens in this game sometimes, as you've probably noticed by now. Okay, I'm gonna go without this health this time, because my health is slightly better. And my ammo on the, uh, the shotgun is better as well. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, this Chinese is going really well. On the plus side, <laughs> you get to you get to see more gameplay than you would in an average speedrun. Yeah, my my PB in this game because we uh, we've we've started recently using in-game time to uh, to time the runs. My PB in in-game time in this game is six and a half minutes. And my PB in real time is 14 and a half minutes, just to give you an idea of how absurd the loading times in this game are. Okay, anyway. Wow, okay. That was that. That was uh, a mess, to say the least. Um, it's, it's not too big of a time loss, I don't think. Maybe like a minute 
Um, I'll still definitely easily come underestimate uh, if everything continues to go well. So next is Cyber Den. Uh, this is... It's a fun level, it's not too hard. Um, probably one of the easier of the levels in the run, I'd say. So yeah, strafing is really sort of the only speed tech in this game. You kind of just want to, whenever possible, obviously in a, in a game like this where you can get absolutely decimated in seconds if you get stuck, uh, you want to kind of be a little bit sort of safe when you're you're trying to kill enemies, um, which means that sometimes you'll you'll take it slower. In an RTA, um, you might might be a little bit braver, uh, but because this is a marathon run, I'm trying not to die as much as I can. Um, I think as long as I only die in chemical plant following this, I'll be satisfied with this run still. Um, I will die in chemical plant. That is a that is a rum copy a guarantee because I always die in uh, in chemical plant. Also high jerky. I, uh, I I missed that. Sorry. Yeah, it looks like you're gonna die here, but there's like a full body armor there, so pretty hard to die in reality. Oh, I didn't get the, uh, the minigun. Oh, there we go. Forty-six seconds, not bad. The load time there is a minute. Yeah, village is definitely the easiest uh, level in this game. Tomb is not too bad either. Those are probably the three easiest. Then I'd say Chinese Planet X and Cyber Den. And then the hardest are Chemical Plant, Mansion and Docks, in my opinion. Although actually I've recently started doing Mansion in a different way to when I used to do it back when I ran this game in 2016. Um, and it's been a lot more consistent. You still have to be kind of careful. You can still get destroyed in a second if you uh, are unlucky. But um, it's not been too bad ever since I started doing strats a different way. Uh, in docks, I'm probably going to go for some body armor where I normally wouldn't. Because in my practice runs earlier, I kept dying to the same area. Um, but when I got body armor, that didn't happen. So yeah, village, really not, really not particularly. Uh, my frames briefly dropped for a, a quite a long period of time there, so I'm sorry if uh, that affected the stream quality any. I just, uh, I don't know what happened, but I just dropped 236 frames across the space of like 10 seconds. I don't, I think I said Tomb Village Cyberden. I don't know if I mentioned Spaceways, but I'd put that alongside Planet X and um, Chinese, probably. So this is Chemical Plant. This is probably the hardest level in the run, in my opinion, just because there's a couple places where you can get really royally screwed very quickly. Here's one of them. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I had to take that kind of slowly. Okay. First try. That was that's a really tough level. Like I said, I took it a bit carefully in one place. I thought I was gonna get die. Uh, what? I thought I was gonna get killed when I got stuck on the uh, on the time splitter. But uh, it was all right in the end. I thought I was gonna get die. Can we quote that, please? <laughs> um. So now, yeah, we've got Planet X. Uh, this is one of the few levels that when I did my, my practice earlier, I didn't die on a single time, uh, along with uh, Cyber Den 
and village. Those were th these were the only three that I didn't die on during my practice. So I'm hoping that I shouldn't die here either. There's also a really annoying corner that um, you can you can fall you can fall off if you're uh, a little bit too sort of cocky about it. It's this one here. If you take that one too tightly because you want to save like two frames, uh, you will just fall down and you'll end up losing like five seconds every time you do it. So. Yeah, sometimes the risk ain't worth the reward. Now because I killed loads of those guys, it means that there's going to be like three guys spawning on the way up here. Actually only one. Not bad. Now we've got Mansion. Like I said, this is another one of the harder levels in the run. Um, the only reason this one's so hard is because at the start there are some zombies that you can get stuck on. Uh, because they only die if you hit them with a headshot, much like the much like the zombies in TS2 that we saw on Friday. Um, the only difference is if you shoot them, they still fall down, but their hitbox remains there um, because they're not dead. So you then have to line up a headshot as they're like standing up from the ground and it's uh, it's a tad inconvenient compared to in TS2 where if you miss a headshot you can just go for it again. But it was alright in the end. Okay, I missed that guy but we're alright. That was really good. That's one of the best mansions I've ever had, probably. Um, I'm gonna... Just because I think I'm quite far ahead, I'm gonna go for armorless docks once. Um, and if I, if I do die, I'll then do it with armor, just because I don't think I can afford to make too many more mistakes. This should probably still be sub-16 um, RTA, I imagine, even with all that, which would make it the best uh, marathon run of TS2, uh, TS1 I've ever done, because I've only ever done one other, and I got really cocky and said it would be better than the one that Jang Bang did for the same marathon, um, and it ended up being probably the worst marathon run of any game I've ever done. I just made a bunch of really, really stupid errors. because I was being cocky. It wasn't even like I was just playing poorly. I was just being cocky and it led me to making dumb errors. But this this run has gone well. With the exception of Chinese, this has been quite a strong run. I'm gonna grab the health there. I do that normally anyway. I changed my mind. I'm gonna get the body armor because I'm really low on health already. Yeah, I would have died if I hadn't picked up that armor for sure. Whoa. That guy spawned in a really inconvenient position. No way, dude. I got killed by the security camera. That's so annoying. I even picked up the body armor to be safe, and I still got owned. Okay, there we go. I don't think I killed a single enemy so far. Oh no, I'm dead again. There's no way.
Yeah, you can forget me not grabbing the body armor. Okay, on the plus side, my health is much better this time. So I shouldn't... Shouldn't die to a, uh, a security camera this time. If you're hating on me for going slow, just remember I didn't even know I was meant to be running this game until like three days ago. So I haven't exactly had ample time to prepare. Um, so yeah, I think this run has gone pretty well regardless. Uh, the last stage is coming up now, Spaceways. Um, I think I've only died here once and it was in practice today. Apart from that, it's not really a very easy level to die on. And really the only reason I died was because I was kind of watching a CSGO tournament instead of actually paying attention to the game. So, I'd say it was unlikely that I'd die here, but you never know. Either way, this run will probably still sub... It's looking more like it'll sub-17 now rather than sub-16 after all these mistakes, but you never know. I don't really know. All my mistakes have been quite costly, with the, the possible exception of the second Chinese mistake. What you want to do here is you want to try and avoid killing too many enemies, because otherwise it'll spawn you a load towards the end. Um, and it just makes it kind of a pain. So... Yeah, don't worry that my health is quite low at the moment, because uh, once you get through this section, you kind of don't really lose much health. So, yeah, I'm through here, and now, like, my health should stay relatively at this point. If everything goes according to plan. So yeah, sometimes you get enemies spawning up here, but because I've left quite a few alive, uh, I'm assuming it's a memory thing, the game can't really afford to uh, spawn that many enemies for you. Yeah, I should be alive easily. I was, that, was, that was actually very close. <laughs> okay, cool. Time. Time. That was probably too close for comfort, um, but the only reason it was is because I accidentally blew myself up uh, when I was going up the ramp. Sixteen fifty. Nice. Wasn't too bad in the end then pretty decent um like no, none of these stages were bad uh, in the end um just the the one death at the end of docks that i wasn't really expecting and the two in chinese which were kind of my fault i can't really complain too much um yeah that's time split is one uh if you enjoyed it make sure to follow me on soundcloud because that's completely unrelated um we have a time split is two uh community race which uh, anyone is free to take part in, which is going to be next weekend on Saturday, August 4th. Um, so if you're around on that day, then it would be really cool. Really want to see some new faces looking to join that. Um, so yeah, if uh, if this or Time Splitters 2 look like the kind of thing you'd be interested in running, then our community, begrudgingly, we do allow emulators, so you don't have to own a copy of the game even if you want to take part in the race. Um, and yeah, we have a community Discord which you can find on the speedrun.com forums. Um, and also, if you whisper me, I can hit you up with a link for that. Um, and that's pretty much all I have to say. So, thank you, Speed Stuff, for charity, for having me for all three. Uh, runs that I've done, Time Splitters 2, Gran Turismo 3, and this one, Time Splitters. Um, and